Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend. Please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. <laughs> if I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! <sighs> Mom, let go, please. You're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that- where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Class, starting today, everyone will be able to play the game I Spy to earn money. So, who wants to play with me? I me? do- No, me! Why don't we give the quiet girl a shot? I spy with my little eye something green. Aw, oh, come on, that's so easy. She better get this right. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> settle down, settle down. It was the green apple. Sweetheart, you need to talk to your mom. It's really time that she gets you some glasses, okay? Hey mom, the teacher told me today to ask you if I can get some glasses. I told you we can't afford them. If I had glasses, I could earn us money from this game. You can earn us money from the game without the glasses. You can see just fine. I got you a little something. You bought me glasses? They're just temporary, until your mom can get you your exact prescription. This is so much better. I can actually see now. I hope it helps you play the game too. I spy with my little eye something yellow. That yellow daisy right there. You got it. Yes. I spy with my little eye something brown and white and covered in water. That dog. Dang, she's fast. You've been getting so much money ever since you got your glasses. I know. Amelia, where did you get glasses? My, um, my teacher got them for me. Really? Let me see them. Wasn't it so nice of her? Yes. I still...
You wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that, and you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Babe? Hey. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh, no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No, thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. <clears throat> This has, uh, kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long have you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. All right. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby. But that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them. Isn't it? What? I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them. Isn't it? What? How did you switch the drinks? Well, that was easy. You looked down for a few seconds to check your phone. I'm guessing it was your boss texting you. I got closer to you, which naturally made you more defensive. And while I was busy trying to hide my phone screen, you switched the drinks. Look who's finally catching on. You sick son of a... Oh, easy now. Let go of me, you deceitful little... Shh. Just relax. It's over, Maya. I have her, sir. Bring her to me. Yes, sir. Mm. Hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I accidentally hit her head, taking her out of the car. You know you're not actually her boyfriend. Yes, sir, I was just... She was an assignment. I understand. Good. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. Wow, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen, I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Say it! Alright! John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. Alright, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick. Rick Lawson. You see, John? Her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He... he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. Now, before I kill her, my... You're not gonna touch her ever again. You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here. <gasps> hey. You're awake. What happened? Where are we? It's okay. You're safe now. You passed out after I killed Frank. What am I wearing? Your other clothes had blood all over them. I thought you'd like this dress. Who are you, really? A double agent? <sighs> Not exactly. That's it. I'm calling my team. No! No phone calls! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to yell. John, what is going on? I can't take any chances. It's complicated, Maya. Oh, my head. Let me look at you. Is it bad? I think you're gonna need stitches. Yeah, I think you are too. <coughs> Pizza Town, can we help you? Yes, I'd like to place a very special order. Please state your information. 
This is Agent 22 Foster requesting immediate backup. Connecting you to the director. Maya, where the hell are you? Um, it looks like some sort of Airbnb. John's unconscious. Stay on the line. I'm tracking your location now. Okay, please hurry. You sure you're all right, Maya? Yeah, I'm fine. Sir, he's waking up. Guys, wait, please, listen to me. Stop resisting, John. You're under arrest. No, you don't understand. She's in danger. She'll be under our protection. You don't get it. I told them everything about her. Please, Maya, listen to me. Get him out of here. Let's go, Mr. Grayson. No, wait! Trust me. Open your eyes. Hello. Maya, John's escaped. He what? We believe him. It. Sir, hello? John? Ese placolo. Capito, capito. Trovala. Yes, sir. We know you are here. Look at this way. I see her. <laughs> Pathetic. John? Are you okay? I'm fine. What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Well, you're a little late for that. I already took out all your men. No, Maya. There's more. Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tad, you're it! Pencil selected. <gasps> Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich. I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now. But instead, I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today, I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it, is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here. So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first. Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever. This is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if... Tom Holland picked me up from school today. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye! I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, Mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you- My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool. Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh yeah? Well watch what I'm gonna do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No! Lily? Where did she just go? Is that pencil magic? No. Make her reappear. Do I have to? She is your sister. You bring her back right now or you're grounded. Or, I could just make you forget this ever happened. That is it! <gasps> hey! This thing's power has gone to your head. I'm taking it away from you. No, Mom, please. I'll bring her back. I'll do it myself. Lily reappeared. Don't talk to me ever again! Pencil's magic expires in one hour. One hour? But I haven't even done anything fun yet. That's it. I have to steal that pencil back. She really needs to stop hiding stuff in her makeup bag. <laughs> Hey, 
Go away! Lily, look, I'm sorry I made you disappear. Where did you even go when it happened? Yeah, like you care. Listen, this pencil is about to run out of magic. So what do you say you and I make a list of things that we want, and I'll write down whatever you say. You do that? Can I write down stuff too? All right, fine, but we gotta hurry, because we only have like five minutes left. We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh, come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. <laughs> I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean, I'm now a multi-millionaire, I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want, and I got this little guy. <laughs> Do you think Mom's gonna get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is gonna distract her a lot. Oh yeah, what did you wish for? Let me guess, a lifetime supply of candy? Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're gonna get your wish, because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out! Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes. I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No, Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie! Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here! <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. <sighs> well, now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. <laughs> well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm gonna give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. 
Are you ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. <gasps> 10,000? But mommy and daddy always give me 15,000. They must be trying to put me on a budget or something. My parents only gave me five dollars today. Yikes, sucks for you. Please, can you buy me my lunch? No, I don't think I will. Oh, please, I'm so hungry. Sorry, I can't help you. You know what? You're gonna regret this. Okay, your total's 8,000. Oh, I don't quite have enough. <laughs> Do you want me to just put it on hold for you? No, I really wanted to get this bag today. Um, my parents are gonna reload my balance tomorrow. Is it okay if I just pay for it then? Yeah, sure, we can do that for you, babe. Mm. Thank you. Five dollars? No, this this has to be an error or something. If you don't have the money, you have to return the bag. Well, about that, I kinda sorta already gave it away as a birthday present. Okay, then you're getting arrested. Security? Wait, what? Officer, there's been a mistake. I have a lot of money. Yeah, sure. Just sign right here, okay? I am not signing anything until I speak to my lawyer. Oh, really? Yes, and I know that I get one phone call. What, you gonna call mommy and daddy to come save you? Maybe. You're something else, kid. Come on, follow me. <sighs> Hello? Mommy, it's me. Make it quick, darling. I'm at a photo shoot. Mommy, I've been arrested. What? Yes, why did you and Daddy only give me $5 today? $5? No, Daddy and I sent you 15 k What? Then I don't know what happened, but can you guys come get me? I'm in France right now, darling. Okay, then what about Daddy? Daddy is shooting a movie in Dubai. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Joanna, we need you. Darling, I'll call you back. Hello? Hey, you got a visitor. Mommy and Daddy finally came to get me. Hi, remember me? I told you you'd regret not buying me that lunch. You switched our bank accounts, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I learned how to hack the system. It's something I've been working on for a very long time. All of this because I wouldn't buy you a stupid lunch? Not just that. You're a spoiled little brat who needed to be taught a lesson. You don't know me. Oh, but I do. I did my research on you. Your mommy is a model and your daddy is a movie star. But they both love their careers more than you. That isn't true. Oh, really? Then why aren't they here? Give me back my money. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, thanks? <laughs> Just kidding. <gasps> hey, you little- Watch it. If you want to get out of here, you're going to do exactly as I say. Now that you're out, for every task you do for me, I'll give you back five dollars. But that'll take forever. Exactly. Go clean my bathroom. Yeah, no way. All right, then. I guess I'm never switching our bank accounts back. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. Now get to scrubbing. Okay, I'm all done. Good, here you go. It's kind of hot in here, so fan me with this. Who do you think you are? Royalty or something? <laughs> Might as well be. Now do it. Can I stop now? Hey, what was that about? No complaining or you lose money. Alright, you know what? That's it. Ugh. No, stop! <laughs> Darling, I'm so proud of you for getting your money back. Yeah, but I realize I should be a little bit more generous with my money, since you guys do give me so much. Darling, your daddy's movie got cancelled, so we're gonna have to cut back. Oh, well then, um, how much am I gonna get now? Well, you see... It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. 
so let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The Pirate King had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's Sugar Daddy Girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I- Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came- Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with her, doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? one hundred and forty-five dollars to cover the surgery. Brina, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But mom... I said no. 
Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she- You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal! Hey! You're coming with me. Wait here, I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands! Oh, I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet, I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm-hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%? That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or, or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script! Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? <sighs> Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. 
I'd like to see him trouble! Oh! Yes, Todd, get them! <coughs> Todd, you're- Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble! Oh! Yes, Todd, get them! <coughs> <laughs> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna treat us with respect. Alright, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Veronica! Open the, open the door, please. Veronica, open the door. Veronica, can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, sure you're scared. I've been there. I can set you free. Veronica, don't make me come in there. I'm gonna count. Open the, open the door, please. Veronica, open the door. Veronica, can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, open the, open the door, please, Veronica, open the door. Veronica, can we not fight anymore, please, can we not fight anymore? Veronica, sure you're scared of them, there I can set you free. Veronica, don't make me come in there, I'm gonna count to three. Open the, open the door, please. Veronica, open the door. Veronica, can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, sure you're scared. I've been there. I can set you free. Veronica, don't make me come in there. I'm gonna count. Want to see your boyfriend's feelings? 100%. Guess he's a keeper. Got this for you. Thanks. Of course, babe. Derek, is that you? Olivia. You two know each other? Yeah, we used to... Date! We were together for a little bit. We should all go out sometime. Yeah, we should. Boyfriend lost a little feelings. Hey babe, do you maybe want to hang out tonight? Oh, sorry babe, I already invited the boys over. They'll be here in a little bit. It's game night. More feelings lost. What is going on? You know what, forget it. I don't care if it's boys night. I have to go talk to him. Derek, I- oh! Holy shit! Is she wearing my- Um, we- we can explain- You should've knocked! Oh! Want to get revenge on your boyfriend? Pick your revenge for boyfriend. Revenge is ready. Take your revenge. Remember to use it wisely. Hey, can we talk? There is nothing to talk about. You and I are over. No, don't say that, okay? I just found out that Olivia is with another guy. Well, you know what they say. Karma is a real- Maria, please. What I did was stupid, and I promise it's not gonna happen again. I want you, not her. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Of course. I'm not one to hold a grudge. You look so beautiful, babe. Thanks. Babe, I gotta tell you. This food is, like, really good. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. What? I didn't know you could cook. You even got my favorite drink? Should we make a toast? To us. To us. Oh, babe, I hope you don't mind I switched our drinks. The one you gave me smelt a little strong. Whoa! You switched them? Yeah, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. <laughs> You've been coughing a lot. Are you okay? You know what? I'm gonna go get you some water. Your revenge has backfired. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Would you like to receive the antidote? Is that even a question? Yes. Sorry I took so long, babe. Here you go. Thanks. What a hero. Boyfriend has lost a little feelings. That boy gains and loses feelings for me every five seconds. Olivia? What the hell are you doing here? It's Derek. He's in the hospital. Haven't you checked your phone? He got into a car accident. Derek? Bria, you came. Oh, I'm so glad I'll have you to take care of me. Actually, no, you won't. Because I'm breaking up with you. What? No! Please. It's like I said, Derek. Karma. It's a real bit. I can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids.
Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo, he's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie, let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry, I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey boss, he's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school. I want you to, uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hon. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it. And you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh, what the- Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> You're not going to tell him anything. Ow! Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No! Hey, kid. Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's going to be all right. Let's go this way. No! We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are going to pay. You should know, Ben. You think I'd come here alone? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop him! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the Mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always going to protect you. <gasps> Ten thousand? But... Mommy and Daddy always give me 15000 They must be trying to put me on a budget or something. My parents only gave me $5 today. Yikes, sucks for you. Please, can you buy me my lunch? No, I don't think I will. Oh, please, I'm so hungry. Sorry, I can't help you. You know what? You're gonna regret this. Okay, your total's 8000 Oh, I don't quite have enough. <laughs> 
Do you want me to just put it on hold for you? No, I really wanted to get this bag today. Um, my parents are gonna reload my balance tomorrow. Is it okay if I just pay for it then? Yeah, sure, we can do that for you, babe. Mm. Thank you. Five dollars? No, this, this has to be an error or something. If you don't have the money, you have to return the bag. Well, about that, I kind of, sort of, already gave it away as a birthday present. Okay, then you're getting arrested. Security? Wait, what? Officer, there's been a mistake. I have a lot of money. Yeah, sure. Just sign right here, okay? I am not signing anything until I speak to my lawyer. Oh, really? Yes, and I know that I get one phone call. What, you gonna call mommy and daddy to come save you? Maybe. You're something else, kid. Come on, follow me. <sighs> Hello? Mommy, it's me. Make it quick, darling. I'm at a photo shoot. Mommy, I've been arrested. What? Yes, why did you and Daddy only give me $5 today? $5? No, Daddy and I sent you 15 k What? Then I don't know what happened, but can you guys come get me? I'm in France right now, darling. Okay, then what about Daddy? Daddy is shooting a movie in Dubai. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Joanna, we need you. Darling, I'll call you back. Hello? Hey, you got a visitor. Mommy and Daddy finally came to get me. Hi, remember me? I told you you'd regret not buying me that lunch. You switched our bank accounts, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I learned how to hack the system. It's something I've been working on for a very long time. All of this because I wouldn't buy you a stupid lunch? Not just that. You're a spoiled little brat who needed to be taught a lesson. You don't know me. Oh, but I do. I did my research on you. Your mommy is a model and your daddy is a movie star. But they both love their careers more than you. That isn't true. Oh, really? Then why aren't they here? Give me back my money. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, thanks? <laughs> Just kidding. <gasps> hey, you little- Watch it. If you want to get out of here, you're going to do exactly as I say. Now that you're out, for every task you do for me, I'll give you back five dollars. But that'll take forever. Exactly. Go clean my bathroom. Yeah, no way. All right, then. I guess I'm never switching our bank accounts back. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. Now get to scrubbing. Okay, I'm all done. Good. Here you go. It's kind of hot in here, so fan me with this. Who do you think you are? Royalty or something? <laughs> Might as well be. Now do it. Can I stop now? Hey, what was that about? No complaining or you lose money. All right, you know what? That's it. Ugh. No, stop! Darling, I'm so proud of you for getting your money back. Yeah, but I realize I should be a little bit more generous with my money, since you guys do give me so much. Darling, your daddy's movie got cancelled, so we're gonna have to cut back. Oh, well then, um, how much am I gonna get now? Well, you see... Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tad, you're it! Pencil selected. <gasps> Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich, I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now, but instead I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous, and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it, is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here! So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic, and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first! Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever, this is why no one likes you. Ugh! <sighs> Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if... Tom Holland picked me up from school today. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye. I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, Mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. 
I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you... My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool. Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling Mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh, yeah? Well, watch what I'm going to do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No! Lily? Where did she just go? Is that pencil magic? No. Make her reappear. Do I have to? She is your sister. You bring her back right now, or you're grounded. Or I could just make you forget this ever happened. That is it. <gasps> hey, this thing's power has gone to your head. I'm taking it away from you. No, Mom, please. I'll bring her back. I'll do it myself. Lily reappeared. Don't talk to me ever again. Pencil's magic expires in one hour. One hour? But I haven't even done anything fun yet. That's it. I have to steal that pencil back. She really needs to stop hiding stuff in her makeup bag. <laughs> hey. Go away! Lily, look, I'm sorry I made you disappear. Where did you even go when it happened? Yeah, like you care. Listen, this pencil is about to run out of magic. So what do you say you and I make a list of things that we want, and I'll write down whatever you say. You do that? Can I write down stuff too? All right, fine, but we gotta hurry, because we only have like five minutes left. We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh, yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh, come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean, I'm now a multimillionaire, I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want, and I got this little guy. Do you think Mom's going to get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is going to distract her a lot. Oh yeah, what did you wish for? Let me guess, a lifetime supply of candy? Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're going to get your wish, because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? I can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm going to go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey, kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo. He's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie. Let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry, I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey boss, he's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school. I want you to uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hon. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it. And you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. 
May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh, what the? Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna tell him anything. Ow! Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No! Hey, kid. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's gonna be alright. Let's go this way. No! We knew you'd cut. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are gonna pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? Ugh. <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop him! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the Mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always going to protect you. Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored, colored pencils. pencils. Really? <laughs> Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. What's this a baby? Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say, okay, mom. I did you, baby! I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? <laughs> You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm going to go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. 
Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? Seventeen. I'm throwing a party tonight. Want to come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tag your hit! Pencil selected. <gasps> Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich. I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now. But instead, I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today, I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it? Is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here. So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first. Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever. This is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if... Tom Holland picked me up from school today? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye! I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, Mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you- My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool. Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh, yeah? Well, watch what I'm going to do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No! Lily? Where did she just go? Is that pencil magic? No. Make her reappear. Do I have to? She is your sister. You bring her back right now or you're grounded. Or, I could just make you forget this ever happened. That is it! <gasps> hey! This thing's power has gone to your head. I'm taking it away from you. No, Mom, please. I'll bring her back. I'll do it myself. Lily reappeared. Don't talk to me ever again! Pencil's magic expires in one hour. One hour? But I haven't even done anything fun yet. That's it. I have to steal that pencil back. She really needs to stop hiding stuff in her makeup bag. 
<laughs> hey. Go away! Lily, look, I'm sorry I made you disappear. Where did you even go when it happened? Yeah, like you care. Listen, this pencil is about to run out of magic. So what do you say you and I make a list of things that we want, and I'll write down whatever you say. You do that? Can I write down stuff too? All right, fine, but we gotta hurry, because we only have like five minutes left. We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh, come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. <laughs> I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean, I'm now a multimillionaire. I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want. And I got this little guy. <laughs> Do you think mom's going to get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is going to distract her a lot. Oh, yeah. What did you wish for? Let me guess. A lifetime supply of candy. Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're going to get your wish because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What?